If you look to the North Atlantic, halfway between Iceland and Norway, you'll find a cluster of 18 small islands known as the Faroe Islands. This remote archipelago, with its cliffs, rolling fog, and relentless ocean winds, has long been one of Europe's most isolated communities. But beneath these rugged islands lies an extraordinary feat of engineering. A network of undersea tunnels that defy the very challenges posed by nature. Imagine driving from one island to another, seamlessly passing beneath the ocean, no longer at the mercy of the treacherous seas and unpredictable weather. But engineers faced immense challenges, from drilling through some of the hardest rock on Earth to ensuring that the tunnels could withstand the intense pressure of the ocean above and the seismic activity below. How did a small nation with limited resources manage to pull off such a groundbreaking project, overcoming nature's greatest obstacles? In the far reaches of the North Atlantic, where the ocean's waves crash against steep cliffs, lies the Faroe Islands, a small, isolated archipelago that most people have only seen in breathtaking photos or heard about in passing. With a population of just over 50,000 spread across 18 rugged islands, these remote lands have long been at the mercy of nature's whims. For centuries, the Faroese relied on boats to connect their communities, navigating treacherous waters that could turn from calm to deadly in the blink of an eye. But this method, while deeply ingrained in their culture, was far from reliable. Imagine living in a place where your ability to travel from one island to another depends entirely on the weather where a storm could leave you stranded for days, and where every journey across the sea carries with it an element of risk. For a nation that thrives on its fishing industry and is increasingly looking to tourism as a way to diversify its economy, this isolation posed a significant problem. How could the Faroese ensure that their people stayed connected, their economy thrived, and their way of life endured? Enter one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects ever undertaken in a place so small. A network of 21 tunnels, including four extensive undersea tunnels that span a total length of over 50 kilometers. These tunnels were designed to connect the Faroe Islands in ways that had never been achieved before. The undersea tunnels alone stretch for more than 30 kilometers beneath the Atlantic Ocean, carved through solid volcanic rock. This vast underground network has fundamentally transformed life on the islands, providing reliable, all-weather connections between communities that were once isolated by the harsh and unpredictable environments of the North Atlantic. No longer would the Faroese be at the mercy of the sea and sky. Instead, they would have a network of roads that could withstand the elements, allowing for safe, fast, and reliable travel between the islands. The construction of these tunnels is a story of engineering triumphs and challenges, blending cutting-edge technology with a deep understanding of the harsh environment. One of the most remarkable feats in this project is the Aesteroi Tunnel, stretching over 11 kilometers beneath the Atlantic Ocean. This tunnel, which connects the capital city of Torshavn on Stremoy Island with the northern island of Aesteroi, is not just a straight shot. Midway through the tunnel, engineers incorporated a roundabout, a first of its kind in the world. Located 187 meters below sea level, this roundabout allows traffic to flow in multiple directions, ensuring smooth travel between the various parts of the archipelago. Creating such a feature under the ocean required not only precise engineering, but also creative problem solving to address the unique challenges posed by the tunnel's depth and location. The construction process began with extensive geological surveys to understand the composition of the rock below the seabed. The rock in this region is primarily volcanic basalt, which is extremely hard and dense, ideal for creating stable tunnels, but a nightmare to drill through. The drill and blast method was chosen for this task, a technique that involves drilling deep holes into the rock, filling them with explosives, and then blasting away the material. Each blast had to be carefully calculated to remove just enough rock without causing instability in the surrounding areas. 
The precision required here is immense, as even a slight miscalculation could lead to delays or safety issues. Once the rock was blasted away, the debris was removed, and the walls of the tunnel were reinforced with a thick layer of concrete. This lining serves multiple purposes. It stabilizes the tunnel, prevents water from seeping in, and provides a smooth surface for vehicles. The tunnel was then equipped with state-of-the-art ventilation systems to ensure that the air remains fresh and free of harmful gases. Given the tunnel's length and the fact that it runs deep beneath the ocean, maintaining good air quality was a top priority. Lighting was another critical aspect of the design. The engineers installed LED lights throughout the tunnel, not just for visibility, but to create a sense of security for drivers. These lights are strategically placed to minimize shadows and provide consistent illumination, making the drive through the tunnel as comfortable as possible. Additionally, the roundabout itself is illuminated with an artistic display of LED lights, adding a touch of Faroe's culture to the underground journey. One of the most challenging aspects of the Asteroid Tunnel was ensuring that it could withstand the forces of nature. The tunnel's location beneath the Atlantic Ocean means it is subject to intense pressure from the water above, as well as the occasional seismic activity. To address these challenges, the tunnel was designed with a degree of flexibility, allowing it to absorb and dissipate energy from minor earth movements without sustaining damage. The structural integrity of the tunnel is maintained by a combination of the concrete lining, steel reinforcement, and the natural strength of the surrounding rock. Moving further south, the Sandoy Tunnel presented its own unique challenges. This tunnel, which connects the island of Sandoy with Straymoy, stretches 10.8 kilometers beneath the ocean. Sandoy is one of the more remote islands in the Faroes, with a population of just 1,500 people. Before the tunnel, the only way to reach Sandoy was by ferry, a journey that could be delayed or cancelled due to rough seas. The tunnel not only provides a reliable connection to the rest of the islands, but also significantly reduces travel time. Building the Sandoy Tunnel required careful logistical planning. The island's remote location meant that all materials, machinery, and personnel had to be transported by sea or air, adding complexity to an already challenging project. The tunnel was drilled through a mix of basalt and softer sedimentary rock, requiring different approaches to ensure stability. In areas where the rock was less stable, engineers reinforced the tunnel with additional layers of concrete and steel. One of the most critical components of these tunnels is their drainage systems. Despite the tunnels being lined with watertight concrete, small amounts of water inevitably seep in through cracks in the rock. To manage this, the tunnels are equipped with a series of bumps and drainage pipes that collect and remove the water, preventing it from accumulating and causing damage. These systems are monitored 24-7 to ensure they are functioning correctly, with backup systems in place in case of failure. The engineering behind these tunnels doesn't stop at their construction. It extends to their operation and maintenance. Regular inspections are conducted to check for any signs of wear or damage, and maintenance teams are on standby to address any issues that arise. The tunnels are also equipped with emergency systems, including fire suppression, communication networks, and escape routes, ensuring the safety of everyone who travels through them. The total cost of these tunnels was significant, with the Asteroid Tunnel alone costing around 180 million euros. However, the investment is seen as vital for the future of the Faroe Islands, providing a reliable and safe means of transportation that will serve the community for generations to come. The tunnels have not only connected the islands, but have also connected the people, fostering a sense of unity and resilience in this remote corner of the world. If you found this story as fascinating as we did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications for more deep dives into the world's most remarkable projects.